But all miracles require sacrifice. How all you want, it won't bring him back. Welcome to another Warframe video. This one's going to be about farming Endo. Endo is a huge necessity when it comes to upgrading mods where everything you want to upgrade takes some amount of Endo. And at some point you're going to need a lot of it. Get a prime mod fully maxed out. You need 40,000 Endo. And for some people it may be difficult to get this much. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. However, there's a problem with this it's that it's not at all catered towards beginners. This is going to be more for the people who can go in higher level missions or have done every single mission in the game and I'll get to that in a second. Now first from this mission we're going to get Iana treasures. You can see I have a few here and you also are going to want the Iana sign stars and the amber stars. These are really easy to get just go in any mission. You can accidentally open a crate and you're going to get this that pops out of it and you just have to go and collect it. These are very easy and common to get and if you do some bounties on I believe it would be Necromess, you're going to get the amber star with a lot of bounty rewards so that is one way to get them. I believe you could also get it from Cetus, I'm not so sure but usually these are found in crates. This is what's going to give a sculpture more of a value so if we go in here we go we can hit auto install or just do it manually but you can hover over these usually it's always three at one you never really need two amber stars we can just do auto install and it went from 300 to 1500 we can go to this sculpture do the same thing auto install uh, that 1500 and then do the same thing to every single one auto install so that's a that's a decent amount of end up right there with all of these sculptures and then you can also, of course, just use them as decorations if you want. So if you have enough and you just like farming Endo the regular way, then you can just use the sculptures as a nice little antique. Now the one thing I'm going to look at that's going to give you the majority of your Endo. This mission is all you need to get Endo. Obviously, if you're a beginner, this isn't really going to be towards you. However, you can work up to this point and it will be beneficial once you get this mission unlocked to just farm this over and over. And usually with the people who are in there, they're going to want to stay for a long time. So you're going to have that help with going through either 20 waves or 20 rounds of something, maybe even 25. But every time I've done this mission and I've done it in public lobbies to make it a little bit easier on myself, everybody always wants to stay for a long amount of time nobody wants to leave right away and this is a way to get endo and sculptures as well as some mods but that's if this is mainly for endo and sculptures so if we go here to the alerts you can see that i have an arbitration thing in order to get this you're gonna have to complete every single mission on the star chart so if you go to a planet anything that has a glowing dot that's a mission that you have not completed so right here how this flash is blue every single time even though i've been here before this says it was not completed or was not visited at least so you will have some of those missions with however many planets and it's the Zeremin is one included. I didn't know that. I thought it wasn't included, but however, you need to do all of these Zeremin missions. So this could be a bit difficult for you when it has you know, level 55. So depending on where you're at in the game, this may be difficult for you. But as soon as you complete all these missions and you visit the Arbiters of Hexes on the Strata Relay, you then will get this that pops up in your alert tab. It will always be here and will always fluctuate between disruption, interception, defense, and survival. I believe those are the four that it fluctuates through. They're never like exterminate or anything else like that they're always the timed missions so disruption you have those waves interception you have waves defense you have waves and then same thing with survival you have waves and they're all on time limits really so i won't show the mission just because it's just going to take too much time and it's not going to be something people are going to watch want to watch in the video however i will pull up something that shows the amount of endo you can get from one wave or from five waves but one set of it and i will show you the probability as well as the amount you could get and then you can also get sculptures as well but this gives you up to like thousands of endo at a time so it's really really beneficial as well as doing the weekly Iana treasure hunt these are also very simple I mean it takes two minutes maybe all you have to do is go there grab a sculpture beat the time limit and you go back and you have just a sculpture I didn't know this before but now this is probably the best way to get endo in my opinion I don't think there is a better way I think many people agree with this and many people do this in order to farm their endo you can also go to Necrolisk. I'll show that here in the next clip. All right, now this is a huge amount. It's not always common to get these, even though it's going to say it's common. But Endo, uh, you can get Endo from pretty much any bounty. But from what I believe, Necrolisk and the Zeremin is what's going to give you that huge amount of Endo that you want. So levels of 100. This is obviously going to give you a thousand, as you can see. But it's level 100. So this, again, this is not targeted towards those beginner players. However, if you want to get Endo and you are a beginner, do this one. 600 Endo. And it'll be 
a mastery rank, let's say seven or eight, this is gonna be pretty useful for you to do. There are some added benefits to all of these things. You can get 600 endo from just levels 15 through 25 and target it towards a low mastery rank. Same thing here, this isn't as much, but it gives you a huge pool of endo and credits. So if you wanna farm endo and credits and you're a low level and you don't have the index open, you don't have arbitration opened, this is probably gonna be a little beneficial compared to all the other ones because you have 250 endo, you have two chances to get 250 out of nine. You also have the one in a nine chance to get 150 endo, but it's also common. And then you have the credit cash of 3,000. So six, I think this is what, I don't know why they just want to put 6,000, but I believe 6,000 for both of these. And then you're going to have your 4,500 from this. I don't know why it just says three times. I don't know why I can't just say 4,500. I, maybe I'm viewing that. Maybe it's not true, but I would imagine this is what it means. So you can get a decent amount of credits and decent amount of endo for just doing this low level five through 15 mission. And then of course, as you go up, you get more endo and you get those amber stars that I was talking about. You're probably going to get amber stars a lot from this. I It's really hard for me to get some of these mods that I want to get. As you can see, I don't have any of these. It's really hard to get them and I just keep getting amber stars instead. It's not that big of a complaint because you're getting those amber stars to fill up the statues that you're getting from the arbitration as well as from just the weekly sculpture hunt. The Demos is very beneficial to look at when it comes to endo the i10 treasures the i10 stars to then get the treasures filled and get more endo from them so all in all everything has its own benefit and necklace has probably the most benefits with it however the arbitration mission is still the best one to do because of getting the iana sculpture as well as a huge mass of like 7500 endo right now i've gotten more into uh, zerman i've kind of skewed away from that because i didn't know much about it these also can give you a good amount of endo again this is not targeted towards beginners at all one you're gonna have to have this quest completed in order to even know what the zerman is or even show it on your map so you may not see this on your map at all and don't worry just complete the storyline through all the quests going through all of this you have thousand end of 1500 and again you have that amber star that you can get as well so again it has that added benefit to it and even with the low level 50 through 55 500 and 750 again common and uncommon and they also have that credit pool too then as you go up the endo increases obviously so you get to 110 115 you have 4000 and 3000 endo this is not at all towards beginners for the first time me saying this this is not a video towards beginners this is going to be towards people who know what they're doing who have the weapons who have the frames that are capable of doing these type of missions efficiently you might need a squad of people because some of these missions can be a bit annoying but nevertheless this is going to give you a bunch of endo you can also get lenses from this you can get a uh, gyre blueprint however i do not think this mission itself is the best way to farm endo i would rather do the arbitration missions because those give a larger pool of endo than this does for relatively a lower level and because this mission specifically gives a lower pool than the arbitration missions so just focus on the arbitration missions this is the best bet if you want to farm the endo two arbitration missions those are going to help significantly it's going to make your life a lot easier when you're trying to upgrade mod all right and that is the end of the video the more updated more advanced endo farming guide if you did enjoy this video please help support me subscribe to the channel with all that said thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed but you have never had to sacrifice your love for faith imagine